welcome to the mountain of God. In the beginning, God created a heaven on earth where Lucifer reigned over a third of the angels in the Garden of Eden on planet Earth. The Angelic Race on Earth Before Adam, Part 3. Lucifer led a third of the angels on earth to worship the Lord, saying, Praise ye hosts, worship him who sits upon the throne, who liveth forever and ever, and bowed before the midst of the throne the stones of fire. And there was given an angel to guard the way of life. And Lucifer made an attempt to seize God's throne and ascending into heaven. And God said, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering, and thy sardos, and thy pass, and diamond, and thy beryl, and thy onyx, and jasper, and thy sapphire, thy emerald, and thy carbuncle, and thy gold, and workmen of thy tabards, and of thy pipes was prepared in thee since the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in all thy ways until thy iniquity has been found in you. Therefore I will cast thee from the midst of the stones of fire. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold you. I will strip you of your anointing and your authority. I will strip you of the, the thrones that cover thee. And I will cast thee as profound out of the mountain of God this day from the midst of the stones of fire. I will strip your authority right now and your anointing and every precious stone that covers thee. I beheld you as lightning to the earth this day. And I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. And the nations say, is this the man that waketh the nations? He's the one that causes us to fall. He has become one of us. Let's take it all the way back before the fall of Lucifer. Before he was cast out of the third heaven. Before God stripped him of his divine authority. Before God stripped him of his divine glory. As we've seen here in this clip. God gave Lucifer a lot of time to repent. I mean, think about it. it 
he took so, Lucifer took so much time to not only conjure up, premeditate all the thoughts he was having about his jealousy toward God and you know wanting to be like God and exalt his throne where it wasn't, and turn a whole third of the angels that was on his side on planet Earth, and then ascended into heaven to seize the throne of God. That then God said, "All right." I mean, that's how much time Lucifer had. I mean, he could have stopped in his tracks, but he waited. God waited until the invasion of a third of them angels with Lucifer into heaven before God decided to strip Lucifer of his divine glory. I mean, do we really think about what the angels, a third of those angels, went through in their mind when Lucifer told them from the beginning, hey, you can worship me as God. God's holding something back, and you all could be God's with me. You know, almost very similar to what he said to Adam and Eve, that if they eat from this tree of the knowledge of good and evil, they'll be like God's. No, both, maybe a similar lie, maybe. But just remember, during this time with these angels that Lucifer had on his rule, they never heard a lie before. They were, they never knew what a lie was. So all they knew was truth and honesty and loyalty and, and of course that was disloyal. But all they knew was, was things that were truth. So they also saw that when Lucifer was doing all of this and the iniquity of his traffic going around defiling thy sanctuaries before God stripped him of his anointing that, uh, while Lucifer was making these claims, while he was doing this stuff, turning the angels against God and worshiping Lucifer instead of the true God, they noticed that Lucifer was still anointed. He still had the authority. He still had the power. Oh, Jesus. Lucifer taking advantage, taking advantage of God's mercy, of his grace, because that's all they knew. So, let's go back to the original fall. The invasion of heaven. To cause God to finally say enough is enough. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. One of the duties of Lucifer was to ascend to the throne from time to time to make petitions for the other angels on earth. And the Lord saw that it was good. By his throne is encamped with innumerable angels. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. I believe Lucifer said in his heart, See how they're looking at me, God? Full of wisdom and perfect in beauty, every precious stone was your covering. You were the anointed cherub who covers. I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. You were perfect in your ways until the day you were created, until iniquity was found in you.
by the reason of thy brightness I have corrupted thy wisdom for you have said in your heart I will ascend into heaven I will exalt my throne above the stars of God I will ascend above the heights of the clouds I will be like the most high Jealous he became of God, wanting the worship of God for himself. Lucifer, I see your heart, I see your thoughts. Lucifer then goes to earth and says, man, he knows my thoughts. I must come up with a plan anyways. What should I do? I can still come up with a plan? <laughs> and here comes the big lie. Hey, you know the three gods in heaven? Well, I got a former revelation that uh, God is holding something back. We can be gods too. Can't you see? I am. I'm a god. Just as you. Do you follow and worship me? What is this guy talking about? I know what he's talking about. He's right. Yes, join me. And you'll be like gods with me. And we will reign. God knowing the thoughts and plans of Lucifer. Woe to those who seek deep to hide their counsel far from the Lord. And their works are in darkness. They say, who sees us? And who knows us? And war broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought with the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. But they did not prevail, nor is there a place found any more in heaven any longer. So the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And then Lucifer ascended into heaven while saying in his heart, I will ascend into heaven, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, I will sit upon the mountain of the congregation in the sides of the north, I will ascend above the height of the clouds, I will be like the most high. Yet you shall be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. And I beheld, and lo, the fruitful place was a wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the presence of the Lord, and by his fierce anger.
she is empty and void and waste, and the heart melted, and the knees smite together, and much pain is in all loins, and the faces of them all gather blackness. And the earth became frozen. Out of whose womb came the ice and the hairy frost of heaven, who hath gendered it? The waters are hid as a stone, and the face of the deep is frozen. By the breath of God frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened, that is frozen. He giveth snow like wool, he scattereth the hoary frost like ashes, he casteth forth his ice like morsels, who can stand before his cold? He sendeth out his word and melted them, he causes his wind to blow and the waters flow. In other words, when he sent forth his word to bring restoration, the ice melted. As his wind blew, the waters began to flow again. And I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light, which commanded the sun, and it riseth not, and sealeth up the stars, in other words, the light of the stars. And as you know, it became even darker than this. And of course, as you know, as the sun, as he commanded the sun not to shine, the same scripture, and sealeth up the stars, the light of the stars, it's going to be much darker than this. The earth won't even be able to give off its glow. It's going to become pretty dark, I believe, to help preserve the hoary frost. It's going to be pretty dark for a while. But God has said, will I not make a full end? Will I not bring a restoration? And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And as the Spirit began to move, as we know that the frost began to thaw out, and God said that there be light, and I believe that's when the Spirit began to move upon the face of the waters. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from darkness. See, what we don't understand about this verse here, this is the first day. It was not the light of the sun or the moon, but the light of the restoration of His glory. John 1 1 says in the beginning was God and the beginning was with God when God said let there be light on day one the restoration of his glory took place day four the sun and the moon was then created verse 16 God made the two great lights and the lesser light to rule the night and he made the stars also and God said, Let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear, and it was so. Seven days of restoration, not creation. Creation took place in verse 1. Verse 2, restoration took place. 
thousands and thousands of years took place between verse 1 and verse 2, where the great judgment took place. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image according to our likeness. And the Lord God formed man out of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. The Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. Glory. And man became a living soul. And clothed him with his glory. And knew not that he was naked until the day he ate a forbidden fruit. And as you know, God put man into a deep sleep and brought his woman out. And you know the rest of the story. At least they got that right. Like and subscribe. And thank you for your donations. Have a blessed weekend.